Now, brothers, look. If what would bring peace to us is in her, why are we getting so much hell from her and not heaven? That that was made by God to give us heaven is giving us hell. What responsibility do we have that has created that condition and who is at the root of this destruction? Bear with me a few more minutes. It's not her fault. And it's not ours. It's deeper than you and me. Somebody has to step up today to bring us back to the right way of thinking about us and about our women and then give us the knowledge of how to act that we may extract the heaven that he put in a woman for us. Now I want you to listen to this. Y'all with me? Thank you so much. Now, the Quran says we are the maintainers. The Quran teaches that the man is a degree superior to the woman. Don't look at God bad. Because he made us a degree above the woman because you came from man. So you can't be naturally equal to what you came from. But there's equality in how we are treated by means of the law that governs us. Listen, 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 please listen. Go home and get your dictionary and look up the word degree. When you come out of high school, you get what? No, you don't. You get a diploma. I, I, I expect, I, I guess. When you come out of college, you get what? Well, if four years of college will give you a degree and 12 years of grammar school will give you a diploma and the man is a degree above the female, there's something that God put in the man. If the man would only wake up to be himself, he would make a woman happy but we are struggling trying to be men and she's struggling trying to be a woman now what does the Quran say about her nature he says he created the woman he Allah not you not me he he created the woman that we, men, might find peace. Listen to that. Peace and quiet of mind in her. <coughs> Excuse me. He says, he made her as consolation for us. Now, I'm sorry, I don't know the Arabic word, but I'm gonna do my best with what I understand of the English language. And look at this. If he made her to console us, why would we need consolation? 
I mean, no, 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 no. No, think. Just think with me. See, a man is given the duty by God not only to master himself, but to become a master of the universe. Man right now is not himself. He's in a state of mental death. And that is why the Bible and Quran says that we have to be resurrected. It's not talking about bones in the cemetery. It's talking about a spiritual state that will lift us from where the enemy has placed us. As for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. So when a woman rules a man, she can only rule you with pleasure. If a woman rules you and you are made by God to be her ruler, then the upset in the natural balance you can never be yourself with a woman ruling you and she can never be a woman until you become a man now listen 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 and we can never become men until we surrender to the God who created us and gave us the nature of a man. Follow me now. Man. When a man is conquering space and digging in the earth and bringing out science and mastery, that's straining the brain, brother. When he comes home, she's there. Have you ever noticed, you go to bars, many of you, not the Muslims, <laughs> not the believers. <laughs> but if you do, and a fine-looking woman comes in that room, your eyes, if you're a real man, <laughs> she actually take your breath away. Because you find comfort just looking at a beautiful woman. She ain't even laid her hands on you. But you already comforted. Damn, look at that. My son, Joshua, I guess he's around here somewhere. He was invited to the showing uh, the, uh, of Michael Jackson's, um, yeah, yeah, the, the, you know, the, the movie. And they had a big showing in California and he was invited so my granddaughter was out there and he took his, grand, his uh, niece, my granddaughter, to the shindig. Or whatever they call it. He said when he, an old man, take it easy. <laughs> With a, with a growth, you know, around the middle. Walked into that place with my fine looking granddaughter that is Mustafa's child. He said, boy, he was like the star of the evening. They were saying, look at that. What the hell?
Tell me, how did he get that fine looking girl? And I mean, the, the eyes were popping, the necks were stretching. 